upbeat news at Brigantine Links. Well, there's a lot of upbeat news. Golf course is busy. Casinos are now openings slowly. Sure. And uh, play continues for, for you here. Yeah, it's uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, I thought we would take a pretty good hit with the casinos not really open, but I just, like I said earlier, I think golf's uh, got a little invigor, you know, a little boost. I think it's great. Uh, this morning I'm looking at people going by all morning. We're booked till probably at least 2 o'clock today. Uh, it, it's great. Course is in great shape. Uh, been a little dry, but probably playing a little bit more true to the link style that it is and was always meant to play like hard gonna, and fast i was going to say why don't you tell us a, tell the listeners that may have not played down here before a little bit about about the brigantine golf links opened in 1927 it's a classical design oh absolutely uh pretty wide open uh wide open fairways uh yeah it's it's a it's a great design uh we keep the fescue and the the rough town you know helps play a little bit but it's uh it's a true classic Lynx golf course, especially here on the Lynx, on the Brigantine Island. The wind can blow 15, 20 miles an hour. Uh, day to day, can, the course can play totally different from hole to hole, depending on the wind. Uh, certain par threes, I've hit three wood to nine iron on from the same set of tees. So there's the challenge. Uh, it's fun. Always, you know, when it's 90 degrees in Philly, we're usually at a nice uh, 78, 80 <laughs> degrees here with a little wind. So it uh, makes for a nicer day, not as hot, and uh, an enjoyable day for sure. And, John, you've got an amazing history there at Spring Team Lynx. Back in the day when not that many, but a few American golfers who were headed across the pond to play in the British Open oftentimes made a stop at Brigantine to train a little bit for that Lynx style golf. Um, as their week of, of practice before they went to the Open Championship in, in one of the Great Britain courses. That's a pretty cool bit of history. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I can only imagine what it was like here back then. You know, the course was built, uh, open in 1927. Uh, I can only imagine without all the homes on the course now that you have or the built up, I mean, the wind had to just blow through this place like anything you could probably stand on one piece of the golf course and see the ocean on one side and the bay on the other side so uh yeah there's a lot of bit of history i have some nice pretty neat photos of back in the day up hanging into the clubhouse and uh quite a bit of history here for sure also voted one of the best values in in not only atlantic or atlantic city area but the state correct uh, yeah, uh, year after year, we're we're voted a pretty good best value. Uh, we run quite a bit of specials uh, Monday through Thursday. We have a forty-five dollar uh, senior military or casino rate that's uh, all day, and we do a nice. It's like a super twilight rate. It's twenty-five dollars after five thirty every day, which makes for a nice afternoon for the vacationers. We get a nice little push with that. So uh, no, I think. Uh, you know, value-wise, you know, we, we try to pride ourselves on giving a good, uh, a very good product at a fair price for sure. And you were telling me earlier, doing some work, obviously, COVID slowed it down. You are going to do yeah. some work on the <laughs> Yeah, we were going to move the clubhouse. The <laughs> we were going to, you know, maybe do some renovations to the clubhouse, move the pro shop. Uh, you know, that's on hold for a little bit. We still plan on doing some nice renovations uh, through the city. Uh, we built another, uh, we built a fifth tee box, a new tee box, kind of changes the whole up. A little bit shorter, but a little bit more strategic. Uh, I think it'll be a nice change for, especially for people that play the course quite a bit. That uh, changes the hole up quite a bit. Tony, I wish you, you could know, see John what I brought up a uh, really good point there. Um, as I've been doing so much traveling in the last couple of months with our traveling golfer television show, shooting at different locations, I've been stopped by golfers all over the East Coast uh, who I've talked to, and they mentioned the fact that they're out there playing more golf now because it's one of the safe things they can do, um, one of the healthy things. But every single one of them, seems like, has asked me, not only can I tell them some new place to go or someplace different to go, but are there any 
places that are a little bit more affordable because they're playing so much golf. Uh, you, you know, you can't pay the price of $275 to play the um, the, the course at Innisbrook, let's say, where they play the PGA Tour event, or, or uh, $350 to play at Pinehurst Number 2. Uh, you can't do that on an everyday basis. So they're asking... You know, can you give us a couple of the value buys, a good place to go where you get good golf and a good price and brigantine in the middle of the higher price resort golf that's in the South Jersey area is certainly one of those value buys. Yeah, I would agree. I, you know, I pay attention to a lot what's happening in the area, you know, the market and stuff like that. And I think we're, I think we're priced where we need to be. You know, I don't, I, you know, you got to pay attention to the golfers, the feedback, you know the community. I think we're 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 right where we need to be, uh, and we get, we give a nice product for for a fair, you know for a fair price. I don't hear I don't hear many complaints. You know you got to listen to the to the uh, to the golfers, and uh, you know we hear good things. So you know I'm very proud of the staff that I have on the grounds crew that kept working through the COVID. You know when we were shut down and kept the course ready to go and in great shape when uh, you know we were allowed to open the doors. John, Alan, you know that story way too well. <laughs> I, I, spend Tony, your I was, time I, on a tractor. I, I, I spent I spent a number of hours on a tractor. <laughs> I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you what we walked out on the a uh, couple of the greens right here, uh, and again we are sitting right alongside the putting green. Got a little overcast, beautiful, but the golf course is in really good shape. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, like I said, we've had a little dry, but uh, you know. I think it looks great. I think it looks and plays exactly like like it was built to play. You know, you know, people like to see lush and green, and you know, being a link style golf course, you know, it, it's really it's really playing to its roots right now for sure. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Tony, we're gonna uh, take a.